Wow. Now I'm so, good. So. Okay, Austin, you're still here yeah. now. <laughs> Let's talk about this MPFL now. Okay. I mean, you, you were actually uh, yanking a producer, you know, behind the scenes and saying, look, why do you want to talk about Kadiri Kada that has been fired? Why not talk about the fact that Enugu Rangers are back to winning weight? Yeah. And my response was like, they no, are Austin, champions, Austin, Austin, yeah. bottom of the table. <laughs> you don't have a choice. Like, Austin, you're, which... you've been pushed to the wall. Yeah. So they needed that three points. Austin, and they won convincingly. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Which is the biggest story? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You kind of uh, yeah. carry down yeah. south. Yeah. Or oh, Rangers International <laughs> beating uh, <laughs> a scheduled yeah. game three goes to one. Yeah. Yeah. Where a scheduled game Come that is against Come on, an impressive kind of pillar. What position is kind of No, being real. Being real. Being real. Both sides are struggling. Do you know Kano Pillar hasn't won a game in April? Okay. Three losses so okay. far. And okay. you know, when was and Rangers? No, 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 not that. We, we've, been, we've been going with, with um, Rangers struggles and yep. everybody yeah. was hoping that they will bounce back and we'll, this is a good way of bouncing back. Kano Pillar's lost a game at home to Aqua United mm -hmm. and then they're losing this one again. And we know how they started their season, the yeah. intent they show and all of that. When you get a coach in Kadiri Kana, you expect him to come and, to come and turn things around yes. now because coaches are hired to be fired. I don't yes. like the way this one went down with Kadri Kana. Yeah, you and, don't want to say anyone gets sacked. Yeah, no, yeah. no everyone even wants to get sacked. But know? not like this. The, the the club didn't bring out any statement as regards the malhandling he received in that game that like, loss to Aqua, Aqua United. United. We yeah. hear that some fans, you know, and all of that harassed the coach. Harassed, and, yeah. I mean, he's he's the coach, and it was a home match. Treat him better, and then. Next thing they say, he didn't travel to Lokoja for the next game, and now he didn't travel to Enugu, and so the next thing is we're hearing that he's been sacked. You know, we need to respect our coaches some more. Kadiri Kana has been there, yes. done that yeah. with the league. I mean, put him in that light, but okay, Modi, these are guys that can tell us the history of our league football. You don't yes. just, for instance, um, they put it on their Twitter handle, and I went there and I said, can we please have a proper press statement, press statement yes. for this guy? Because, I mean, people yeah. shouldn't just come and say, we saw it on their Twitter handle that the coach has been, has been told to go. I, I suspect uh, that's going to come. I mean, a press statement will come later mm. on. But let's talk about, you know, um, Canopy Lessons season. I mean, it's been <laughs> underwhelming. Mm. Not two ways about it. Um, the record, not very good at all, uh, Cecilia Austin. Um, games have played 19 um, this is in Sicilia. They've played 19 games. They've won just seven. Mm -hmm. They've drawn three and lost nine games. No and good. the points total is 24 goals for 17 goals against uh, 19. So with that kind of record, Austin, would you would you say that it deserves to be sacked or not? Uh, it depends on how you want to look at it. You also want to say, can this guy still turn things around? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, but. While we're saying this coach has come and gone, let's talk about management and kind of pillars. What are they doing about it? You know, what are they doing in terms of ensuring that the coach works properly with players? We see kind of pillars. The fans come out every now and then to show support, so they love their football. Um, last season, they struggled when we didn't expect them to struggle. Mm. So it kind of coming in now. It's trying to come and stabilize things. That tells a story. Seven wins and nine losses tells something is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, particularly the fashion I would they lost some certain games. But at down in Isakwa United, they cannot explain what really yeah, happened. Coach can explain, but coach wasn't treated well. Yeah. So nobody knows. So psychologically... I, 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 I just feel, you know, if Canopilers have actually released the statement after that incident against Aqua United, or obviously the coach would have traveled to Lokoja and also maybe to, uh, you know, Enugu. Because when you're being faced with a situation like that and your club is not even supporting you, I mean, it's, it's like they're not even respecting your person. And again, why can't people ask questions about players' commitment? You know, players' attitude to games. Why, if it doesn't go right, it has to be the coach. But do you think I'm not holding anything against uh, I'm Kano Pillars to doing what they have to do. As we said, coaches of, I have to be fired. But I think Kano Pillars as a club, uh, it's about time the players understand they need to up the game. Because they are champions in every right. Guys, three, four years ago, <laughs> when you cut the league, it's Kano Pillars that, that comes to mind. I, I you think know? even now, most people still won't write them off because you have 19 games played now. You still have 19 more games to be played. So you won't write them off. But then... But we know the MPFL. Um, <laughs> I mean, nine losses three draws, and now they're even losing right there in Cano. Yeah, so yeah. it's getting pretty difficult for them. They are feeling the heat, Cecilia. So if after March the 19th, uh, that's half of the season already, and you are not 
showing signs that you'll be up there, then there's a big problem. Okay, Rangers are still rooted to the bottom of the table. Well, <laughs> exactly. right? good win for them. Yeah, Three ones. And they can actually use it as a springboard. <laughs> and it's got all the goals in the first half. Let's see if they can be consistent because we have said it that for them to start, you know, this is their revival process. They must win those games that will be playing under the schedule, you know, fixtures. Mm -hmm. So this is a good one against Canopillas. Let's see their next game. They're going away if they can do something out of it. But, you know, I mean... Enugu Rangers just need to believe. They need yeah. to believe. Whatever it is that made them score three goals against Cardinal Pillars. They, they can, can score more because back. they have their uh, rescheduled games to still have against their wiki tourists who also fire their coach, Sunshine mm -hmm. Stars, uh, Plata United and Gombe United. So these are the outstanding games that they have. Can they pick up points from wiki, Sunshine, Plata United and Gombe? Maybe Gombe, but Plata United, wiki tourists, Sunshine Stars? Nah, I don't think so. <sighs> <laughs> now, talking about wiki tourists now, well, uh, Mohamed mm. Usman Babaganari, he has been fired. Mm. Another former start. champion. Former champion. That's, that's, that the, also, that's the business for you, Austin. That, that's what it is. Your you last know. result. That's what it is. As good as your last game. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Good okay. as your last game. We'll go for a break now. We'll come back. Joseph Atewa shouldn't be joining us. Stay with us.